Hi friends, this is Ezra St. White. Today I'm going to be doing a demonstration using the red tail texture gun. I'm going to be doing a knockdown texture with this baby. Now I'm going to be spraying about two sheets in a bathroom and I'm going to be matching up an existing knockdown texture. I know you guys have had some requests out there for me to do more knockdown texture uh, and I got those. Uh, I've been doing a lot of orange peel texture. That's what's in most of these houses. But today I've got a knockdown texture to match up and show you guys. So I know, I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let me just go through quickly the basics of this hand operated spray gun. Okay, it's got a little pump here. You can get it at redtailtexturegun.com. But I'm not here to sell you the gun, guys. I'm here to show you how to do texture. In either case, guys, this, there's only a couple choices out there for these. This is a solid brass body. It comes with what you see here, and there's really only three components to this gun, and that's it. So let me first show you how I mixed up the mud here for our knockdown. I've got all-purpose joint compound here that I've mixed up, and I can show you the consistency here. So. Take a look at that. See how it just drips off the gun. This may even be a little bit too thick, to be honest with you. Um, I may need a little water. You really want this real watery, especially if you're doing orange peel, which uh, you want it like way more watery than that if you're doing orange peel. But we're doing a knockdown, so we want the blobs to spray out a little thicker. Um, but if we need more water, after we put it in our bucket here, we screen that out, of course, because we don't want any chunks getting caught in our tip. Let me go ahead and put this phone down real quick. And I will show you guys the basics of what we do here. So. We've already got our black o-ring in, okay? Second component is our inner tip, which just goes right in there, pops right out, okay? Third component is our hose that just pushes right on there. Make sure this black o-ring pushed up above this lip here. Then we just twist on our outer tip, the adjustable tip. Now this tip is adjustable for the size of our spray, for the velocity of the spray coming out. So that's that part. Now what we're going to do is We're going to get our mud here that we mixed up with water. We're going to go ahead and another thing I do, guys, is I'll take a little dab in my finger, and honestly, I'm sure we want it a little waterier than that, but I'll just kind of flick it on some drywall there and see how it sits on the drywall. We don't want it to melt off right away. We just want it to get on there and uh, enough to where it's not going to start dripping. Then we go ahead and pour the contents of our mud here in the screen so we can screen it on out. You can see the viscosity of this mud here. We want our bucket to be halfway full. So we're going to get all this in there. Okay. There we go. We're going to 
to do. Screen this bad boy out. And then I'll go and wash this off real quick. Get some water on this. All right, guys, now that I've got water on there, this lid here needs to be sprayed off with water. Okay, now that I got that lid all cleared off, I can twist on the cap, or rather I can twist it on to my gun. My spray gun here, guys. So we get this twisted right on there. Okay, and here we go. Looking good, looking good. Now, what we do, is we want a little sample board. Okay, let's see what we got here with our sample board. Make sure you guys can see that sample board. There we go. There we go. Now you guys can see. So this tip adjusts left and right for the velocity of the spray. So we're just gonna go ahead Pulled up in that hose. There we go, we got it pulled up. Now, a little loosen it. Loosen it a little more. There we go. Maybe loosen it a bit more. Okay, now you can see. go on in there and spray these two sheets let's head on inside and I'll show y'all how this is done let me not forget my knife here we're gonna need this plastic knife to do the knockdown but let's head on in friends and I'll show you what we got here So, let's see what we got here. We've got about a sheet for sure right there. Got a little bit of sealing to do. This is what we're matching right here. Okay, you got some big blobs, some small blobs, and then it's knocked down. We've got some edges here where I did the transition from the tile to the wall board. Another edge. A little bit there on the ceiling. Let me go ahead and get a good angle for you guys. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Let me put this down. Turn the ladder here. Let you guys get a good, good angle. You can see everything that's going on. So. See that pretty good. So there you go. Oh. Oh. 
All right, there we go. I like to start down low. Nice and easy. Most important thing. Now we don't really need to do here too much because the vanity is going over top of that, but we're still going to do that. Ceiling, I'm going to spray it with a little more velocity so the pieces are a little bit smaller. Okay. We might be getting a little in there. That's all right. We're almost done. 
except get it here. here we're gonna need a little more more mud mixed up in here but as you can see we've got a real nice consistency on these walls here it's gonna be damn near the same okay now what we do Take our knockdown knife. We're gonna see if this is ready. It may, it may not be. Take a little piece here. Looks like it might be just about ready. Could probably wait a little bit longer, but real lightly. Just kind of. There we go. Take a look at that. See that? That's a knockdown for you. See that? Nice and light. Nice and light. Okay. See that? Nice and light. Barely any pressure at all. Barely any pressure. Almost no pressure. Okay. You don't want to push it down that much. Just needs a little, little bit of pressure. Not much at all. Okay. There we go. Got some nice bull nose on here. I like doing bull nose. started to run out. You see the ceiling here? Let's take a look. Spray that again. That's not a problem. That's 
we get a little more in the gun, we'll be all right. Okay, so, take a look guys. That looks pretty close to the original, that's for sure. Looks very close. See how we got the larger chunks mixed in with smaller sprays. Just like in the original, larger blobs mixed in with smaller sprays. Okay, let's go back outside and I'll get some more mixed up. Actually, got one more area here to knock down real quickly. There we go. dry on here or it will start to leave these little streaks like it just did. But that's all right, we'll fix that. All right guys, so what was that? 20 minutes. We did just about the entire uh, two sheets and a little bit of uh, the ceiling. We've got just a little bit more left. We kind of ran out in here. I mixed it up. I filled this up about halfway. Next time, I'm just going to go ahead and get it all the way full. But either way, guys, that was the demonstration of the knockdown. And hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, keep the Promethean spirit alive. Be good to children, be good to your family, focus on what you need to do in this world to obtain more freedom in life. That involves thinking for yourself, that involves working for yourself, that involves being a responsible adult, resisting all temptations that lead to distraction of the mind, to a decay of the body, it means working very hard. So let's get out there. Promethean hails. <laughs>